My name is Ali Elias, a customer experience management expert. Welcome to Flores Ozo Foundation. Be inspired. Today we are looking at complaints. Every day people tend to complain. Remember, you are not perfect. I am not perfect. He is not perfect. And they are not perfect. But what are you doing really to move above uh, a particular level of not being perfect? Now, virtually everybody will complain about something. But do you know what? The joy of complaint is this, is that it will reveal what you do not know about yourself. And that is why you need to gladly accept complaint. And as a company, when people complain, it's like you are being given a check of a million dollars because it helped to expose a lot of things about your complaint. Now, when you receive such complaint, what do you do? Appreciate the person who complained and also try as much as possible to bring that person to a neutral state. Remember, in Africa, we don't even complain. We tend to move out of the business and tell the whole world that you are bad. But so if you receive a complaint, try as much as possible to bring that person toward a neutral state. I want to say a neutral state is that the first thing is identify the error from your organization. And after that, you have identified that put up what we call service recovery. Try to get that person back to the business. Let he or she see reasons to come back to the business. And let the person feel or identify that surely you have identified the error and you are ready to progress in that uh, uh, good direction. And also, when you do that, you need to do what we call compensation. You need to tell people, convince them that you are there for them and you want to do them better. You want to serve them better in what you offer to them so how do you do this it does not really cost you an arm or leg no not at all look at those small things that you have in your organization that you can give out for free to people to actually encourage them and when we say give out are uh, free to them remember i told you that little things that you do little details is what we call customer experience people will forget the transaction they actually are uh, transact with you but the small experience you give them will be there for them, for instance, if it's a particular airline or something, if the person has actually paid for uh, what we call a, a, a conventional, normal conventional uh, uh, seats, then from that normal conventional seat, you can move them to first class or business class. I mean economy. If you are sitting by the economy and there, maybe there is a delay in flight, you can move them. And so also if it's a suit or hotel and people have actually suffered bad thing and they actually complain, you can move them from the normal room to what to maybe a suit or what have you so you can delight your customer with different things so now to really capture this it must be your attitude to really what acknowledge complain act on it and compensate whoever complained to you remember it costs you a whole lot to really get uh, new people or new customers uh, why to retain is very very easy from research it takes you about 30 percent to really retain people but it takes you total 100% to get new uh, people to come to you. So also your friends and what have you. So you just have to do more to really create a better experience for them. So at Tindina, at Tindina, you just have to have this and document this to really help you. If there is a service break, if there is bad thing or a bad thing occur between you and your customer, how do you do that? Even your friend, how do you really get back to them and really uh, fix things? So I wish you would take note of this and really create a good experience for people. So and the attitudinal change starts from you because if you have, if you are predisposed to them positively, it shows that yes, they can continue to do business with you. Thank you.